Hey everyone, it's Amber and I'm back with another video. Um, today I thought I would do a new video type that I've never done before. Um, I've been saving my product empties and I thought I would go through what products I've got. This has been from about December up until now. Um, I must admit there's a few things that I've totally forgot to put in here and I've thrown them away. But I just thought I would go through them and tell you whether I would repurchase them or not. Um, I'm gonna. This is going to be a continual thing so I will be saving more empties and do in other videos and um, but just let me know in the comments what you think of this new video um and i do also need to do my um what we're on march favorites march april april favorites april favorites i'll get there in a minute um yeah i need to do my april favorites but i've just been a little bit preoccupied at the moment um so to start with the first thing i've got is this um Sally Hansen um, Strengthening Nail Polish Remover for Soft and Thin Nails and it's got vitamin E and wheat protein in it. I think this was a couple of quid um, and I would buy this again but to be quite honest it's got a little bit of product left in the bottom um, but to be quite honest I don't really shop brands with nail, pol uh, nail polish remover. It doesn't really bother me. I just buy what's on offer. Um, I do try to look for things that are for strengthening nails because my nails are quite weak. Um, so I've just bought a different brand. So I haven't replaced this one with the same brand but I've just bought a different brand that was on offer. That's for strengthening nails. Um, so. I probably would buy it again, but I'm not, I'm not going to rush out right now and buy it. Buster! Buster! Come, come join! Come on then! Come join! Buster's joining us in the video. You like to say hello? No, you're not going to be barking. Sit next to me then. Right, next up I've got this Hollister, Crescent, Hollister California Crescent Bay Body Mist. I got this. Um, this smells amazing, or oh, it smelled amazing, it smells like tropical, like holidays. Um, I got this about a year and a half ago, um, it was last time me and Simon went to Manchester, obviously me and Simon aren't together no more, but that used to be our little tradition, um, and I bought this while I was there, they're like, they were like 3 for £15 or something, I love them to be honest with you, for me these rival the Victoria's Secret ones, um, because they're a lot fresher, they're not as perfumey. Um, I do love the Victoria's Secret ones, but I think I do prefer these. They've got a whole new range of scents out now when I went to their store the other week. Um, so I will definitely be purchasing these again. I just don't need them at the moment because I've got plenty of um, these. But I definitely recommend looking into these if you like the... Um, this is the Hollister one. Um, I definitely recommend looking into these if you like Victoria's Secret because um, they smell amazing, like really fresh. I've got this one, a yellow one and a blue one, but they do, like I say, they do the body lotions to go with them as well, and I think they do the shower gels, um, but they're really nice range, definitely recommend it. Next thing I've got is this Body Shop um, Glazed Apple Bath Jelly. Um, this is like a jelly which you run under the tap, and um, it creates bubbles. It smelled gorgeous, it smelled of obviously like spiced apple. Mm, which I love because it's one of my favourite scents at Christmas um, and I bought it in the Christmas sale I think it cost me about £4 or something really really like it I do prefer the Lush stuff I don't think this is worth the money full price I think it's about £8 and um, but definitely worth grabbing hold of if you can get some in the sale um, so I probably won't be repurchasing this unless it's in the sale um, or as like a little treat for myself but I do I would probably go to Lush over buying this again so that was that. Next thing I've got, this is Minging Guys, because um, I took the pump off it so I could get the remaining foundation out. This is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid um, Foundation. This is number 21 Nude. Do really like this foundation. Um, I probably will purchase it again. Um, it really matches well to my skin. At the moment I've got a more natural tone on. It's a new Revlon one that I'm trying out that I purchased at a discount price. And I'm a bit like, mm, because I'm normally a lot more tan than this. So I'm a bit like, I don't know whether I like it. But I do like the fact it's a lot more natural looking. Um, but I do really like this. It goes on really nicely. It sets really evenly. It lasts all day. Um, it's a really good price. It's about £8, £9, same as other foundations. Um, it, it, they have a similar type. Um, so I probably would buy this one again. But again, I'm not going to be rushing out to buy it just yet. Next, I've got the number seven beautiful skin um, wipes. 
you get 30 wipes in a packet. These are the ones I always rave on about. They've been in my favourite videos. I love them. They take your makeup up in one wipe. Your skin feels lovely underneath. You don't break out or I don't break out when I use them. Um, they're usually £7 a packet. So I will not be repurchasing at £7 a packet. But I did go into Boots yesterday and they had an offer on with your little voucher again where you get £5 off um, number 7 skincare. So they cost me £2. I bought myself another packet of them um, because I absolutely love them. I think they're um, fantastic and definitely worth a go if you've got your little voucher. Um, because your voucher normally is for £5 off number 7 to care, which makes them £2. So definitely worth a purchase. Next up, I've got the Zoella Beauty um, Flowers and Showers Shower Gel 100ml. Um, I got this in a gift set that I bought in the sale. Um, it says that it's fragrance with a light floral scent. I must admit, right, I love Zoella. Who doesn't love Zoella? She's amazing. But I was quite disappointed with her um, like shower gels and her bubble bars because I just don't think they really do anything. Like the bubble bars they just fizz away and there's nothing really left in your bath and they're like five pound each i'd rather go to lush but i love her body butters and her, and her body mists and the shower gel it's not very for me um yes the scent's really nice but it just doesn't you have to put a lot on your sponge to get like a lather um so with a hundred ml bottle you don't get that much use out of it um but to be quite honest, I would buy other things out of her product range again, but probably not the shower gel or the um, bath fizzers. I would maybe buy, like I say, the body mists or the. I'd love one of her makeup bags, like something like that. Not this though, um, but it did smell really nice. I love the scent of it. I'm just not, and it did make my skin feel really nice and soft because it's got shea butter in it and aloe vera. Um, but probably won't purchase that one again. Next I've got, this is going to be in my favourites video, it's amazing, like ridiculous, like if you haven't tried this you need to go buy this, it's the um, Forever um, Forever Living Bright Sparkling Aloe Vera, Aloe Vera Tooth Gel, looks like this, now you might think oh my god Aloe Vera Toothpaste are you having a laugh, no honestly it's absolutely amazing, it doesn't taste like Aloe Vera, taste of mint and um, it's got no flu fluoride in it so just be careful because if you have to have a fluoride toothpaste this doesn't have fluoride in it um but your teeth like literally i've tried um coconut oil this week and it's like coconut oil it literally rips all of the rubbish off your teeth so your teeth feel they literally squeaky clean like it's absolutely amazing and like you know sometimes when you have like sugary drinks and you brush your teeth with just a normal toothpaste and you're still a bit like like my mouth's a bit like yeah like claggy this no like your teeth it's just i love it and it has got whitening properties um so my teeth did feel a little bit i don't know i just love this it's quite expensive it's about um my friend's a forever living um oops a daisy he works for forever living and he does sells their products it's about five pound or i think you can get two tubes for nine pound is the deal he does for me but it is worth every single penny. You would spend this on coconut oil. Um, I would use this with coconut oil and I can imagine it's a perfect combination. Um, so yeah, and it tastes like mint. So lovely and I will buy that again and that is in my favourites video this month definitely. Um, next up I've got the St Moritz um, Tan Maximizer Exfoliating Body Scrub. Um, oh, I've got one more empty that I haven't got on me that I've just remembered. But I'll just tell you about it instead of... Um, I got this in a gift set, and, or my sister did, and she gave it to me. Um, I used it, it was just a body scrub. Didn't particularly prep my tan any better than what a normal body scrub does. Um, yeah, it left my skin feeling alright. I didn't like the consist consistency of it. Personally, I thought it was like water. It was really watery. Um, I love their tan, um, even though I've got a new favourite now and I probably won't purchase their tan anymore, but their tan is really good if you can't afford a more expensive tan. Because um, the tan that I use now is the bon uh, Bondi, Bondi Sands one. Um, and the Bondi Sands one is the other one that I've run out of that I've just repurchased. Um, because it's £15. It's currently on 3 for 2 in boots. Um, but it smells of coconut. You don't get no nasty fake tan smell. You don't get no patching. It's just... It, it, it applies flawlessly and it's amazing. And um, where with this, sometimes I think the same where it's, it's a good price it does apply really well it does give you a nice tan but it can go a bit patchy when it's coming off 
or if you go to apply another layer it can go a bit like peely and sometimes I think if you put too much of this on you look green you get like a green tinge um but i i love i do love their time but i prefer paying the money for the more expensive one now i've tried it um but yeah so i i, I wouldn't buy that again i thought it was average um next i've got the impulse teas red fruits and woods um body spray um, I love these body sprays, they're easy just to spray on, shot in your bag, if you're out and about and you're a bit like, mm, just spray it on. Um, they're about a pound each aren't they, they're not expensive, um, they can be a little bit chesty, like what I mean is I've got asthma and sometimes they can get on your chest a little bit, so just bear that in mind. But I like them, there's nothing particularly special about this scent, um, I just select different scents in their range. So I probably would buy them again at the moment. I've got plenty of the Hollister and pardon me, Victoria's Secret ones. So I don't really need to buy any more. Um, so I probably won't be buying these soon, but I definitely will buy them again at some point. Um, next is the, um, oh, I've got purple all over me because of this. Oh. I did have the shampoo, the conditioner, which I used up, but it's not here. I don't know what I've done with it. I think I must have threw the packaging in the bin. So this was the shampoo and conditioner. This is the Prevoke um, Touch of Silver Brightening Shampoo for Blonde, Platinum or White Hair. Again, it's been in a favourites video. It's how I get my hair so light. I do need to start using it again, um, but I don't recommend using it all the time because obviously it's got quite a lot of um, colours in it and it can make your hair quite dry even though it um, changes the colour. Um, it's about £2.50 for this one. They do other ones, but this is the brightening one. So this is like the extra strong treatment it just removes brattiness from blonde hair um and makes it a lot lighter i love it i think it's a great product it's worked wonders on my hair it's made my hair the color i want it and the color that i love um and i have repurchased it yesterday because i need to start using it again so i definitely recommend this if you're wanting to remove brassy tones or the bleach london version of it which is good but if you can't afford the bleach london version of it try this one um so yeah great product really like that one Next up, I've got the Riri by Rihanna Body Lotion. Um, this is 90ml. Love the smell of it. Great to wear if you've got the scent on because it really reinforces the fragrance. Um, fairly moisturising. <coughs> Sorry about that. Every time I go to film a video. Fairly moisturising, but as with all um, celebrity body lotion fragrance, fragrance body lotions, I don't think um, they're as moisturising as, say, for instance, like a a, a cocoa butter or um i don't know like a you know like a less like like a like a palmer's um coconut thingy cocoa butter yeah it's a cocoa butter isn't it like that i don't think they're as nourishing to the skin as that is and um, but they are still nice i probably wouldn't purchase this again because i've got hundreds of body lotions that i need to use um but if i did get it in with the gift set which I did get it in with the perfume I would definitely use it like I wouldn't just leave it in my drawer um so that was that one next is this product this is um the wonder 10 a so more effects 10 effects leave-in treatment this is amazing stuff it helps to repair dry and damaged hair it nourishes for a good shine it gives you thermal protection it helps your hair be more soft and silky it's got color protection in it it creates body and movement it's a good detangler it's um, prevention of static um, and it contains both uh, conditions, both natural and synthetic hair and it smooths, blends and controls frizz. Really good product. I got it in a beauty box. I would definitely buy it again. Um, I haven't repurchased at the moment because I've got so many hair products to use. Um, but I do really recommend trying it if your hair is very dry. It's almost like a shot. You get maybe four or five use out of it. I'm not sure if they do a bigger version of it or whether this was just the sample I got. There's nothing left. Damn. But yeah, really good products. Really like that. Definitely would buy that again. Next up, and this is minging the bottle. This is the Makeup Revolution Aqua Seal. This is three pound in Superdrug. Amazing. Absolutely ridiculously amazing product. I've repurchased this. If you want a, it's it's an eye primer. It's an eyeshadow primer. If you want an eyeshadow primer, or if you want to do a glittery eye, this goes quite tacky perfect for when i had my someone i think it was kylie commented on my makeup the other day when i had glitter eyes 
this is what I used and it sticks and they don't drop underneath your eye um, really really good it's amazing and I definitely 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 will keep on buying that it's better than I've even tried the um, Benefit Air Patrol Primer that is amazing everything I've tried I go back to that one definitely will we reuse that um, next up I've got this simple kind to eyes eye makeup corrector pen I think it cost me a pound waste of money absolutely crap um, it's supposed to help you remove any eye makeup from underneath your eyes I used it once and it was ruined um, I just I just don't get it it's got like a little nib on it's just don't buy them it doesn't work get a cotton board and remove your makeup that way if you need to like shape your brows or whatever don't use that it's rubbish absolutely rubbish next up again another dud product for me i got this mua uh, mega volume mascara because everyone was like yeah it's a great mascara but do you know what it's not even empty i've hardly used it it's just crap it is crap um it's the mua mega volume mascara with these daft bloody plastic ones which i don't like um it looks like this don't buy this it's got amazing reviews online it's rubbish well you can try it but personally it just doesn't work for me it doesn't do anything for my lashes it doesn't it just didn't seem to do anything like I just I didn't I don't get it I really just don't get it I had to use about five mascaras plus this and I just no and it's about three quid but no not for me at all and it's still a full product like literally it's not even an empty technically but it's just going in the bin because it's rubbish um I've got the Pacaraban Olympia um, sample. Can't remember what it smells like. I do like this, and I, I love this. And to be honest with you, I probably would buy this again. This is the Dahlia Divin Givenchy um, perfume sample. To be honest with you, I do like them. I probably would purchase the Givenchy one. Probably not the Pacaraban. Uh, Pacara Pacaraban one. Um, these are from my perfume shop fragrance box and um, so it gives you an idea of what perfumes you might want to purchase once you've tried them probably will purchase but at the moment I don't need any more perfume so I definitely won't be really buying at the moment but this one is a possibility for the future because I love the smell of it um, so great next up and this is the biggest dud perfume I've ever bought I went into Boots and you'd have seen this in my um, it's actually a product I regret buying. It was in my haul video. I bought three of the Shower Call Stormflower Mini Perfumes to put in my handbag. It leaks everywhere. I've used it twice and it's empty. It smells... I don't even like the smell of it. It smells just... No, none of her perfumes. I don't like the smell of them. I just think they smell really, like, overpowering. Really strong. And, you know, like... When you walk past someone and you think, oh, they've got too much perfume on. It's like that smell and I'm just like, why did I buy them? No, I just, I would never buy them again. And I think these miniatures are like, they're a waste of time. They're an absolute waste. In fact, I'm really annoyed because I literally used it about twice and it's empty because it just, the lid doesn't sit on it properly. So it was squirting everywhere in my bag. It's staying in my bag. And I used it twice, and, and I've given my sister the other two. I just think it's an absolute waste of money, dud. So, my product empties box is now empty. That's all my product empties for now. I do try and keep hold of everything to show you them. Um, but if you'd like me to do this video again, you've enjoyed it. I think it's quite a nice idea because I've then fully used a product and I can say to you, I think this is good, I think this is bad, I think you should try this. Um, so just to give you an idea of what products are actually like. I hope you enjoyed watching anyway. Please like and subscribe. And again, huge thank you to all of you subscribers out there. I'm so happy and so grateful about it. Um, but, you know, just watch this space and there will be, obviously, video uploads all the time. So go check out my social media. I will pop the links below, but I know sometimes there's a bit of an issue with my social media links. Um, if that's the case, go on to the front of my page um, where all my video uploads are and the links are in the little bottom corner, in the top corner, um, near where my logo is. So use those links and they definitely work because I've checked to make sure none of the links are broken. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later, guys. See you soon.